Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Project Zomboid the Nomad. If you remember last time, I managed to get this nice little fire set up and this trap box which blatantly didn't work and also a tent as well. Uh, just read that magazine quickly. Uh, and then I can get rid of that and maybe use it for fire material later on. So first things first, obviously a graphical update got released this week and if you're wondering why that isn't part of my game basically i did try it out earlier this week and unfortunately because i'm running that many mods um, and various little things like that just to kind of bump the game up for the series um it was causing quite a few issues so i've actually rolled back to just the standard version until they get fixed so hopefully we won't run into any issues today and what i'm actually going to be after today is the suppressor uh, for my pistol and preferably some more ammunition that's generally all i need really um i have got a pistol somewhere there we go and I think I've got a few boxes of ammo, a few boxes of shotgun shells, a few boxes of 9mm bullets there as well. But other than that, I am very, very, very good for everything. So I'm just going to take these campfire materials. And I'm also going to pack up this trap box. So let's remove the bait. I think it was sardines that I put in there. And I'm going to remove that trap as well. And just pop these both into my backpack, my Alice pack, which has served me pretty well so far. And let's just chuck the trap box into there and let's see what else I can actually pack in. Probably don't need three bottles of water on me at any one time, so we'll chuck that in. Tissue can go in, sleeping tablets also. Um, got an empty pot bottle. I'll keep that on me for the time being. Angler's Magazine can go as well. And uh, we're pretty good, pretty good to go. So I'm just going to run down. I believe I'm fairly close to a police station and that could be... A relatively decent place to find a suppressor um, that's going to be really good for hunting it in the woods if there's any kind of stray zombies maybe one or two that's going to be really really decent without getting detected and not having to get close enough to use my axe like I'm gonna to have to use now oh shit holy shit right okay fuck this fuck off all right let's just loop around Definitely haven't got that shit. Oh, an error just popped up there. If you're wondering what that three is in the corner, that's, uh, that's my game responding to errors. The joy of mods, my friends. The joy of mods. All right, okay, so let's just head down into here. That door's open. Pretty nice. What have we got? Hammer. Nails. I'm not too sure what else I can actually find. There doesn't seem to be that much in here, actually. Uh, another axe. Uh, tent peg I don't need. And I uh, certainly don't need any kind of seeds or anything like that either. So let's just take a look around. See if we've got anything in this kitchen. Okay, just some mustard and shit like that. Some more shotgun shells I'll take. It's probably got to pack me out a bit, but let's just take some beta blockers quickly. Heart rate seems to be jumping around. So I've got four packs. Got a really, really decent amount of stuff. Um... I'm not too sure where you guys want me to actually head, kind of in the wilderness. But, uh, you know, just let me know. I actually thought there was a kitchen then, but uh turns out it's a bathroom that looks like a kitchen. Let's just see if there's any water in there. Okay. I can defo hear some zombies outside that. Right, they're probably maybe in this bit. Okay, what the fuck have we got here? This looks interesting. Um... Right, that's normally a gun cabinet. Some nails, another Alice pack there. Electric wire. Really not too sure what to use that for. Uh, or even if you can use it at the moment. But um, certainly worth taking a look at. Maybe you can use that for um, something like... Um, maybe fishing? I'm not too sure. Really not too sure. So let's just keep heading on. And uh, just see if we can find anything relatively of use. Have I already got a screwdriver? I think you can actually hand make a silencer as well. By the way, this is a mod, the silencer one. Uh, as you guys always ask me in the comments, I thought I'd just let you know uh, the mods that I'm using, which are Bedford Falls, South Muldrow, Immersive Overlays, and uh, obviously the silencer mod as well. I'm pretty sure there's something else, but if I remember, I'll, I'll tell you later on. Or I'll write it in the comments if I remember in like a day or two. Right, so let's just try and find a way out. Is there an actual easy way out of this? I don't think there is. We could go up these stairs. Okay, this looks pretty swish. 
Whatever this is, We've got some matches there. Might be worth taking the matches actually, um, just in case we lose our lighter. And uh, we need some fire making material. Okay, battery and a flashlight, don't need that. I think you actually make the silencer out of a flashlight, but you actually need three um, aiming skill. And what have I got at the moment? I can't even see. Not even one. Because I don't even think I've shot anything in the whole time I've been alive. So, yeah, that's that's probably why. Right, I'm kind of trapped in here at the moment, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, let's just check up in these stairs as well. Again, sorry for the scavenging, but you've got to be particular. Okay, duct tape I'm definitely going to take. Uh, so that'll do to repair my axe at a later date. Uh, providing I survive that long. Sandbag I've got no use for. What was that? Something else there? No. Right, okay. So, it's now like 1540 as well. Does anyone follow me down this bit? Doesn't seem that way. Right, okay, they're all at the top. So I'm going to push north towards, I think the police station's up north, if I remember correctly. Um, and uh, that should be me done for the day. can kind of then just head into the woods and go from there. Let's just check that. Nothing in there. Um, I might even stay indoors tonight. I had a bit of a rough one last night, even with setting the fire. Um, it was a bit sketchy, so... Ah, oh, shit. Right, okay, fuck it. Right, let's just remove this broken glass. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. And we'll hop through there. And uh, we should be protected. I might even stay the night in this police station, to be honest. But uh, let's just have a little look around before we've got... Just lock myself in there. Okay, so we've got some shotgun shells straight away. Uh, a shotgun, which I'm obviously going to take. It's like my favourite thing in the uh, the entire experience. And uh, we can preferably get some decent ammo. Hunting knife, again, I'm going to take. just makes sense, considering... Um, did I see some shells there? Yeah, let's take some more shells. A lot of shotguns there. Kind of more ammo than shotguns, but still good. Uh, let's check what we've got in this room as well. Okay, there's a lot of hunting knives. Uh, just going to take the shotgun shells and probably some 9mm shells as well if you find any. Okay, what have we got there? US Army walkie-talkie. Probably irrelevant to use that at the moment, but... And nevertheless, I know where they are now, so let's take these 9mm bullets, take the shotgun bullets as well. Take more shotgun bullets, take more 9mm bullets. I mean, I'm pretty geared up to protect myself. The only problem I've got is generally weight is going to come into it pretty soon. Um, and yeah, that could be a bit of an issue, so I might have to expend some of these shotguns. Shotguns? Some of these shotgun bullets, rather. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we seem to be okay there. Let's have a look. Uh, nothing there. Right, some more shotgun bullets there. Let's just take them. Okay, so how many boxes have we just got there? Obviously, I did have some on me before as a displayed earlier. So we've got 12 boxes and 4 boxes and 9 mil. Um, I think that's going to do me for now. Um, which, is, which is fine. No big deal. No big deal. Got some good stuff. How do we get into there then? Hmm, maybe we can't. So I just need to find the suppressor. I might not actually find this this episode, but just thought I'd kind of lay it down as that's what we're actually looking for now. And, uh, you know, that's the route I'm going to go for. It's certainly, if we get a suppressor or we can get to the stage where we can make one, then uh, that's going to be good for us. Take that first aid kit as well. Just while I'm here. Kind of heals absolutely everything. Okay, so we seem all right. So what I'm actually going to do is spend the night in here. And obviously, because I've smashed these windows, um, I'm going to chop down this door. And I'm going to use whatever planks I got. There we go. Get two planks. Oop, let's pop them into my main inventory. And uh, just barricade these doors up just for a bit of extra protection. Take that plank as well. Don't know why I only took one. Probably because I walked away from it. Trying to be fucking stretch arms strong across the room. Okay, so let's just barricade that up. And we'll barricade that. Yeah, so you can hear they are literally right outside this door. On the other side of this door is uh, is trouble. So let's get my axe out again. Uh, wherever it is. There we go. What's the condition of that? Okay, it's not perfect at the moment. And I'm also just going to chop these down. Obviously, I can remove these later on. Uh, these barricades in the morning. But I think two on each should probably do. Oops. 
Done it again, trying to put it into my backpack. Just walking around like some fucking carpenter. Yeah, I'm not too sure if there is a gun store in Bedford Falls. Um, if any of you guys know if there is or where it is, let me know in the comments below. And if I don't find a suppressor this episode, that's uh, probably the best port of call next. So that's where I'll go. Okay, so we've got two barricades each on there. And I think what I'm going to do is just sleep in this room. I'll probably just mill around, eat some food, and then I will pop back in the morning. So I've had a pretty good night's sleep, and I think I've decided to head down to Crystal Lake, which is just slightly to the south on the way back to the main city. And uh, I believe there could be another um, police station somewhere, maybe down the road in the main city. I'm just going to take these barricades off and... Dump these planks on the floor. Probably not in too good condition, no? Right, okay, and what I'm also going to do now is actually get my shotgun out as well. I've got a feeling there could be quite a few outside. And as I'm heading into the more populated areas, it'd be a good idea to actually have some kind of firearm on me as opposed to some fire axe. So we've got the shotgun out. Let's just get some rounds loaded up. Um, might as well start with these. Okay, I'm not actually going to saw this off yet. Um, it might be a good idea later on, simply because I think it actually takes some of the weight off, obviously, because the shotgun's kind of half the body size. So we've got 12 shots. Let's just take some bigger blockers in advance for my dodgy ticker, and we'll open this shit. Anything around there? Nothing on that one either. Hmm. All right, let's deal with this the old-fashioned way. Just push the bitch over. The 1950s way. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've said in a while. Okay, I'm surprised there was only one that actually came in. There could be quite a few around the corner, but let's just head further down. Nice little church over there. Pretty cold at the moment, so as you can see around the edge of the screen, a lot of ice and stuff. Makes it look really cool though. Really a massive fan, I might have said this before, of the Immersive Overlays mod. Pretty, pretty decent. But uh, I'm carrying far too much shit at the moment, so I'm going to just pop my axe into my backpack. That should lighten the load. Not by much, unfortunately. Um, I probably am going to have to saw off this shotgun at the next opportunity. But I think I'm just heading maybe... Another kind of quarter of a mile down this road, not too far, and then I'm going to start veering off left. Maybe here, actually? Yeah, I think it is here. Uh, and I think Camp Crystal Lake is just a tiny bit further down. I'm going to spend the night there, purify some water, and then tomorrow I'm going to head on to... Uh, where am I headed to? Yeah, the police station and the main city. Obviously, spending the night in forestry and stuff like that. Uh, but if needs be, I can stay in an industrial or a commercial building. So let's just keep going. Right, I believe there should be a trail somewhere around here. Is this it, maybe? It's pretty hard to tell with the snow. Okay, right. Let's just follow this round. I'm definitely going to have to saw off this shotgun. Okay, is this taking me back up that way? No, I think this is the right path from what I remember. Okay, so there should be a huge lake around here as well. Uh, really could have done with a fishing rod. Not too sure I did I actually get one. Yeah, I've actually got a fishing rod. So I'll probably do some fishing as well today. Try and source my own food so I'm not just going through these tins. Uh, I can cook that up. And what have we got here then? Let's just take a quick look. Okay, just some farmyard. Okay, that's decent if it gets too cold. Can set the hay on fire or something or sleep in it i'm not too sure um let's have a look just a quick peek through the windows so we can see it's really really pretty cold at the moment it's now 10 50 and uh, it's still still freezing my tits off so stiff nips all around okay right let's just jump in and what i'm going to do is just lock myself in this room okay toilet and let's just saw off the shotgun quickly. Uh, where the fuck is the shotgun? Okay, that's weird. Um, am I being 
Oh, there it is. Right, okay. <laughs> right, let's just sort that off. It'd be good if when you saw the shotgun off, you did actually get, like, the pipe off the end that maybe you could use for pipe bombs or stuff like that. Or, like, the end of the barrel. Um, that'd be that'd be pretty decent. Okay, so now we've equipped that. If we pop the saw into there. Okay, and we're, we're pretty good. Pretty good. So let's just fill the water bottle. Quickly search around here. Take them painkillers. No doubt I'll need them at some stage. Okay, I'm not going to spend too long in this house. What have we got in here? Just a normal kitchen. Okay, uh, kitchen knife, spoon, uh, sparklers. Cooking pot I've already got, canned soup I will take. Could weigh me down a bit. I'm also going to take a bowl as well. And do I have a frying pan? Because I could need one of them. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a frying pan as well. Just so we can actually fry some shit on the fire. Uh, not literal shit, because that would be horrendous. And, you know, I know frying stuff does make a lot of things taste better, but certainly not your own shit. Just like fried fecal matter is, is not the way to go. Alright, okay. So we've got the lake up here. Okay, decent. So let's just pitch our tent and uh, do a bit of survival shit. Where am I pitching that? Where have I just pitched it? I can't even tell. Oh, right, yeah, there we go. Let's put it there. I was putting it in my main inventory. That's what it was. All the confusion, guys. Okay, so we've got the tent up, and we'll get our fire ready as well. Just pop that in my main inventory. Get these campfire materials out. I don't know if I'm walk walking around with, like, 12 stones and a shitload of twigs, but... Nevertheless, that's fine. Uh, we are quite exposed here, but at least there's kind of slight tree cover around each side. And uh, we should be okay. Should be okay. So let's get our fishing rod out. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of fishing. Tiny, tiny bit of fishing. See what we can get. Uh, do I have to like equip the tackle as secondary? I can't remember how to do this. Fish in, there we go. Okay, so now it's just a bit of a waiting game, you know. Just going to wait, hopefully catch something amazing like uh, 15 foot pike or whatever. I I can't remember. I have caught something absolutely ridiculous before when uh, I did Alexandria. I think I caught like a 96 pound fish or something. I've actually got a screenshot of that. So, right, we didn't catch jack shit then. So, let's go back in again and try again. Can always move up and down the lake, try different methods, you know, dip my worm in, so to speak. But uh, for this bit, we'll just try to. Just catch a decent fish. I apologise that my country is really wayward today as well, guys. Pretty tired. Been up since like 5am, so... Just wanted to get this out, you know. Okay, did we catch anything? No, not by the looks of things. Right, okay, so let's just go a bit further along. I'm pretty hungry as well. What non-perishable goods have I actually got? Uh, box of nails, some canned shit some decent canned shit i might actually light the fire first as well and uh hopefully cook something decent did we catch anything i don't think we caught anything again no we're not catching shit let's try this bit maybe if we cast a bit further on they're not got all, the big fish don't swim around the sides they they chill in the deep bits in the middle okay come on surely we've got to get something now this is basically fishing. If no one's ever been fishing, this is this is basically it, guys. You just just sit with your rod in the water and just wait for something to grab it. That sounds a bit, you know. But um, yeah, that's that's all it is. Okay, so I'm gonna eat some chips as well after the, after this, just to keep me going, and then we'll chop down some logs for the fire. Kind of mid afternoon now. But uh, just a low risk day, um, just chilling, you know, just chilling, and not catching anything at all. I think it is better if you actually use worms as well. Um, I think live bait seems to work better, from what I remember. Right, where the fuck is my axe? There it is. So get this axe out, chop down a tree, light the fire, try and catch some fish. If we don't, I'll just cook some soup and then go to bed. That's my plan. Maybe at least try and chop down this tree. Okay, there we go. How many logs have we got? Just the one. So I'll put the tree branch on as well. And uh, did I keep any of the magazines? I think I might have bin the magazines. That could be an issue. I have got rip sheets though, so 
not that big of a problem. Yeah, I've got a newspaper as well. And the Angler today, which I actually read. Oh, shit. I think. Yeah, I did read it, yeah. Read it at the beginning of the episode. It's alright. We're okay. Right, let's just get a few more logs. Oh, my God. Fucking aim of Mr. Magoo axe swinging school. There we go. Let's get these two. Hopefully it doesn't rain, because that could be a major, major issue if I'm just standing here, just swinging my rod around. Uh, that could be a big problem. So let's just add this. Uh, add this log. I think they burn for about three hours each. I think there is roughly a certain amount of time each with uh, with every single one. So Also, might as well lay this trap box. So let's just place this trap... Maybe I've got to put that on my main inventory to place it. Uh, let's place the trap box just down there. And I'll put that other half kind of sardines in there. I'm not too sure if you actually catch anything with sardines. Um, I know you can catch certain things like rabbit if you use carrot and stuff. But obviously I haven't really got any carrots. So, uh, there's no fresh food about whatsoever. So let's get back to the fishing. Right, fish and tackle secondary. And I'll just pop my axe in there. I mean, I kind of fucked. Uh, if anything gets me from behind, it will be a stage of running around the lake, looping back, or, you know, just trying not to be a prick. But um, I will show you how to purify water as well, as a few people ask me what I'm going to do for water. Um, and if you haven't seen the water purification system, I'll go over it really quickly in a second. Still not catching anything, like, at all, whatsoever. Right, okay, so let's let's cast a bit further afield. Okay, that's maybe too far. Is that too far? Fishing. Right, that's the furthest I can cast. Maybe this will be the one, boys. Maybe this will be the one. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out, and I'll come back when maybe I catch something. Okay, so we're pushing on for night time now, and unfortunately I didn't catch anything. My fishing skills were relatively shit, and I'm now going to purify some water before bed, so let's just light this. Uh, we'll use the matches for now. Let's pick them up, so we've got the fire going. And all I need to do is use the cooking pot quickly um, that I, uh, I gained, I think, maybe in the first or second episode. And then we've got to fill that cooking pot. Filled yet? Fill cooking pot. There we go. Let's fill that cooking pot. This is going to be extremely heavy. Um, so I can actually pour this into water bottles, but just thought I'd do this as a demonstration. Obviously, that's got that skull there because it is tainted. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Right, okay. Let's just take care of these. This, that was a really bad idea. That helicopter actually came over before as well. Okay, right. Maybe not such a peaceful, peaceful night's sleep. Um, especially with this fire, this could be pretty bad. It could be okay. Hopefully that helicopter just fucks off, to be honest. Uh, let's just get some more rounds out, just in case. Just open up another box, because I think I've just chewed through all of that. Let's just open up that one. And, uh, did we reload? Can we reload? For some reason I can't reload. Maybe I just did reload. I literally can't remember. Yeah, must must be fine. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at this. Okay, so we've now got a uh, clean water. So all we've done is just popped a... Is that someone down there as well? Um, a cooking pot full of tainted water onto the, onto the fire and just boiled it. And uh, I can now just drink from that whenever I want. Which is, uh, which is really nice. So that's how you untaint water or clean water. Um, there we go, pot of water, so I can pour that into a water bottle, and if I had a lot of empty bottles on me, I could distribute that through the bottles as well, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Okay, that's good stuff, good stuff, so we've poured that in, obviously that hasn't taken much, and uh, what I'm going to do is actually just drop that on the ground, and I can just use that tomorrow morning, just to fill everything up. Uh, let's just see if there's any more twigs around, I think my fire should be okay. Oh, shit, I need that pot as well. Right, I'm actually going to have to just pour this pot away. Um, long story, but I want to cook some soup because it's going to be really cold at night. So let's just pour that on the ground. That's going to empty it. And I'm going to open up 
some soup. So let's open some canned soup. And then I should be able to just pour that and make a pot of soup. Okay, so we've got a fresh uncooked pot of soup there. And I can just chuck that onto the fire. And that's going to start cooking up real nice. Hopefully no more Zeds turn up. I'm a bit worried about this. Again, I did say before that it was a bit exposed. And uh, yeah, a bit of a problem. But the helicopter seems to have maybe dragged a few towards me and then dragged the majority away. But I'll have to wait till the morning to actually see. That's going to take a while to cook. Um, but we should be okay. And now I actually picked up a bowl as well before. Uh, I can just pour that into a bowl and have a little bowl of soup every now and then. Well, not every now and then because it spoils pretty quickly and there's only a certain amount that I can actually take with me. Oh, shit, there's another one. All right, let's get my axe out, actually. Let me axe him a question. Uh, um, where the fuck is my axe? Okay, both hands. Come on, hurry up. All right. So I just need to take this one out quietly before I go to sleep. Fucking hell, the joys of cooking soup. Fuck off. That was really fucking close. Right, let's just stamp on him. Okay, decent. Decent indeed. Right, there's another one over there. Let's just take this one out. Could have a few drifters. I'm just going to wait for a bit, but this is going to be the issue. I mean, the last time I did the Nomad series, it was the game was completely different as it kind of regarded zombie count and stuff like that, so um, there's nothing in that trap. Can't even check it. No. Nah. There's definitely nothing. I'll check that in the morning. Let's just check on my soup. Oh shit, it's burning. Right, slightly burnt soup, but nevertheless, we're, we're okay. Um, so we should have a pot of cooked soup. I mean, if we had all this now, we would be, be golden for a long time. So I think if we put that in my main inventory, oh for fuck's sake. Right, let's just deal with this slag as well. Okay, we've got two coming over now, and I'm starting to tire. Shit. Okay, that one, we'll leave that to get up in a minute. Let's just swing for this one. As long as they're like stumbling and going back, that's that's fine. Fuck off. Shit. Alright, let's just get a bit of ground on these. Uh, I've just got no power whatsoever. I'm not being funny, even if you swung that lightly. If you swung an axe lightly at something's head, it's still gonna do some damage. Okay, let's just loop around, buy ourselves a bit more space. I really don't want to take him through the fire as well, because that's going to burn down my tent. So... Okay... Come on, fall over. Let's get more. Okay, I'm starting to chill down now as well. Okay, any more? Can't see any more. Should be okay. Write some lipstick on that one. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, we're all right. So let's just chill by the fire for a sec. Uh, so I think if we put this in my main inventory and put the bowl in my main inventory, as I was trying to say about five minutes ago, uh, should be able to make a bowl of soup. Could only be a cup of soup. I'm not too sure. Um, let's have a look. So, bowl. Make beans bowl? No. Uh, maybe you can't make a bowl of soup. Okay, so I'm just going to drink half of this now, and then I'll rinse it out in the morning, etc, etc, and uh, it should be okay, but pretty drowsy, carrying a really heavy load, and pretty exhausted, so I apologise for today being more of a, like a kind of tutorial episode, but I just wanted to kind of explain how it's going to be with surviving, obviously I will do some more exciting stuff. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to head into the main city and try and find a suppressor in, I think, the second police station? But uh, what I'm going to do for now is just go to sleep and uh, head on in the morning. So, as always guys, thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon.